Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm playing with Chunk again, and this time I have something from our bunker, a DL580 Generation 4. And this server has a couple of very interesting features you probably never see on any other model. For example, you can have RAID memory here. It has four uh, cartridges with memories and uh, well let's see how that works uh, at first we have a small problem here we have a, a failed memory board or at least the, th the system thinks we have a failed memory board and the best way to cure an error like that is to simply unplug and replug all the modules and at least this time that trick worked and it solved the problem and we don't have any memory problems anymore. As you can read on the screen, we have at the moment mirrored memory, so it has 32 GB and we are using only 16 because two of the modules mirror the data to two of the other modules. And I just want to change that to RAID because, well, who has memory RAID in his computer? I do. With this one it's possible. So I select RAID memory in the advanced memory protection uh, settings, store that and reboot the server. As you can see the four modules are blinking and it takes about two minutes for them to get ready and you see we have RAID enabled, the boards are removable so each of them can be removed but only one if you have RAID and you can also see we have 32 gigabytes from which we can use 24 gigabytes and uh, 16 gigabytes are reserved for the RAID function one of the modules is lost uh, well it's not lost but you can't use it And as you can see, we have a pretty old operating system, Windows 2003, that matches exactly the year of this uh, server, or plus minus a year maybe, but that's what it, uh, came out when this server was new. And just for fun, I'm taking out one of the memory modules while the server is running you see windows is still working no problem with that because windows doesn't notice this loss of memory because actually it's not a loss of memory it's, it's just a loss of memory redundancy and if you look closely all the leds of the other boards the removable leds have extinguished because you can only remove one at the time and so the other are not removable anymore. Red handles on HP servers mean it's hot swappable during the server is running. Blue uh, handles mean you have to turn off the server before you pull that out. The large module here uh, contains the CPUs. You can have up to four CPU chips with coolers and voltage regulators for each one. You will see that right now, how that looks. There are two voltage regulator modules for two CPUs. We have two empty spaces and two slots for more voltage regulators. And the CPU uh, coolers are for made of pure copper, so they are really heavy and especially if you have four CPUs and four coolers, 
this is a really heavy module and you better be careful not to drop it. It's a Intel Xeon CPU with 3.2 GHz and 800 MHz front side bus. So you can look up what CPU number this is. I, I think in those times they didn't have uh, any type numbers, so they are identified by its speed and that's it. Then I thought it's time to install a new operating system, Windows 2008, which comes on a DVD, but I don't have a DVD drive in my system, so it's time to change that. As you can see, replacing an optical disk drive here in this system is extremely simple. It has an eject mechanism and uh, yeah, you just saw how that works. And it works. And the good thing is there is a, enough space to install both optical drives, which I will do later. And here you can see how it reads data from the DVD drive and writes it down to the two hard drives with the two red buttons there. And here is a module fully equipped with four CPUs and four voltage regulators. So that's the maximum of CPUs and stuff you can put in there. Here we are on the back side, that's one of the power supplies, it can deliver 1300 watts. And of course in the server we have two of them for redundancy. That doesn't mean we have 2600 watt, but we have 1300 and if one fails it still works. Then we have the usual connectors, USB, LAN. And we have PCI Express, which was quite new then. And that's the uh, eject mechanism for the optical drives. It's pretty complicated and, well, not really necessary, but a nice touch. Then we have redundant fans, so if one fails, the other still blows through it. And a couple of interconnect boards with the CMOS battery here and the beeper and here the PCI slot board and everything else is in the drawers on the front and on the back so that's the entire server and here on the cover you see a large sticker that explains all the stuff I did right now in the video uh, it explains how to remove any modules, uh, switch settings and uh, the order how to install RAM and so that's very nice, all the information you need in one view. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.